G'day legends, welcome back to another episode. Well in this one guys, I'm gonna be baking the wave breaker and I've decided to do a solid fiberglass wave breaker. I did prior to this think I was gonna build it out of thermalite construction and glass over the top, but I've decided to go with a solid fiberglass breaker. Here I am back in the Hain 600R. Don't worry guys, I haven't forgotten about any of you. I have just been doing a lot of other stuff a lot of fishing, it's a beautiful time of the year on the south coast here in Australia and it's just great weather patterns at the moment so I've been doing a lot of fishing with my mates and uh, just relaxing a bit, I've had a fair bit of time off work so I've done as much as I can on the boat as well so I'll get you all up to speed with that now. So guys as you can see I've cut the dash out and more to that I have finished the front area there so what we've done is glassed in our floor up the front, a subfloor in there with a small bilge well which drains back all the way under our subfloor out to the back of the bilge. Now I've still got a bit of glassing to do in the subfloor down in there. Under that subfloor is a keel stringer and forward of that one between the two main stringers is another keel stringer. I've also beefed up under the front of the boat beefed up right in there and as you can see I've done a lot of work to the top deck or the underside of the top deck as well I actually cut the top deck off the boat I split it down here as you can see there the joins and I've since glassed it back on so there's a lot of work gone into this boat since you guys have last seen me all right guys let's get into it well, what I've done is made a profile for a wave breaker and I don't know, it's hard to see because it's cardboard and I've got a lot of bit cutouts and things here, but basically it's going to come up like that down on a, a nice gradual angle and then at the last minute drop down there. Now I've seen a few 600 eyes of wave breakers like this, they look really good. So. I'm going to scrap the idea of making a base for the wave breaker to mount on and what I'm going to do is actually make a wave breaker mould out of malamine and uh, basically glass it up and then we'll glass that to the boat and then the dash is going to sit about 100, 120 odd mil higher than where it used to and we'll glass that back in and then put a bulkhead up through here. So strength wise, it's gonna be super strong, but the advantage to doing it this way rather than mounting um, a wave breaker on a wave breaker, like a base or a lip or what I was gonna actually do to raise the front of the boat or the, the dash, raise everything up there. What the advantage of this is, it means I can do it all in one foul swoop. Uh, rather than doing it in two stages and then having to make, make a wave breaker later. So, got my malamine board there. I've got some templates already made up for the outside profiles. I've just got to make some for these window profiles here. The intent will be to have windows in this wave breaker and we'll probably put them on a recessed lip so they'll just uh, be sickered in. Uh, rather than having someone fabricate windows, that can get quite costly. So the way to keep cost down is to recess a little lip in there and we'll uh, just sicker, sicker flex them in. All right, I'm gonna hook into this and start cutting some profiles. So, to bring you up to speed, what I've done is made some templates uh, using the good old hot glue gun and some MDF board. Now, the templates, uh, I've then transposed those onto some malamine and cut out my first window. So, I'll show you what it looks like in place. Well, there you go. Obviously, the cutout there is where I'm going to have a window. It might be a little bit smaller than that because I'm thinking I'm going to beef up this area with fiberglass to mount my riggers on. I've got the swingers outrigger bases, so they really, really need a decent uh, support under them to uh, help that uh, rigger take all the weight there, especially when they're flopping around in a bit of sea state. And I've obviously got to make the other two templates for the front and the other side. I've got ready there to cut the other side out. So the intent will be to screw it all together in place, get it as close as where we need it as possible, and then 
We'll beef it up with a bit of cross members and things. And I'm thinking I'll put a lip on the inside. Now, you're probably questioning why I'm putting a lip on the inside. Well, the way I'm designing the breaker, it can't really have a lip on the outside in the mold, just the way uh, we're doing this. Uh, but I do like the idea of the lip. It's, it's, it's a 90 degree lip that comes off and then back in. So it's a bit of a return more than anything. I like the design because it, it gives the, the breaker some, uh, a bit of meat, a bit of structure, so it looks really good. I've seen I've seen a few designs like that on 600Rs and they look really nice. So that's what we're gonna go for. So once the brake is glassed on and in position, uh, I then intend to put the old dash up in position, but I'm gonna raise the dash about 120 mil, I reckon, uh, just to bring it to a nice working height. These boats weren't built to have it at a, at a suitable height. They were more of a low riding seat to sit right down in uh, for cruising and water skiing and things. So. Uh, being a runabout, they're not, they weren't specifically built for offshore fishing or spear fishing or anything like that. So I'm gonna make it uh, more comfortable for long days trolling and sitting down. Okay, without uh, any further ado, I am going to finish knocking out my Malamine sheets, get them in position and set them up. Let's go. Okay, it's just gone eight o'clock at night, so I've put in a decent uh, afternoon into the evening. And here we are. So I've skipped ahead. I've cut everything out of templates and then screwed it all together. And as you can see, I've also braced it all up, ready to pull it off the hole. The only thing that's holding it on is these little tabs I made with hot glue. Now you'll notice that I've done done this lip under here so the lips coming back 90 degrees and then back down again so it's almost like a little uh, gunnel or combing um, coming back in which I think looks really neat on these boats so I'm excited about that it'll just be a few fine tunings once we get it off the boat uh, I've got a decent gap there I just couldn't get this angle right so um, I've got it set up pretty good in the center here, but in there, and what I'm gonna fill that with is uh, plasticine to um, get the right shape in there that we need and we can we can fare and work out stuff later on that outside anyway, because we are gonna have to fare it to some degree, but the good thing about being whiteboard or malamine is that when the glass breaks away from it, it is gonna be nice and smooth. So it saves a lot of fairing. Just before I go tonight, guys, I just wanted to point out something. So the actual curve of the boat here is a bit of a tricky one. So rather than make the wave breaker mold suit the side of the hull, what I've done is I've brought the edge of the wave breaker right out to this very edge lip where I, I want to start my wave breaker uh, glass section. And what I've done is it, it, yeah, it comes back in along here, but then it finishes up back out wide. Now you gotta remember when this is just a sheet of glass, not on the solid malamine, if it's not too many layers of glass to start with, it's actually gonna be pliable. So I'm actually gonna be able to bend it and tack it exactly where I want it along here and give it a little bit of shape and then glass it. So we're gonna have a nice smooth look up the side here. I've now got the wave breaker mold off and on the floor. And what I'm doing is putting in some molding clay or plasticine into the gaps just in those spots where I didn't quite get it perfect or where I wanted a radius in the mold so as you can see down through here I filled in that gap there and I'm just going to show you guys how I did that side here a couple of little little tricks I picked up on the way so firstly what I'm going to do is knead the plasticine up nicely, just get it warm. So it's uh, more pliable, easier to work with. And then it's a matter of just taking little bits like this and just wedging it, wedging it in that corner nicely and pushing it in there as firm as it can go. Okay, now once it's all on there, I'm gonna get the good old paddle pop stick. 
and I'm going to bevel it in the corner and really once I set my angle there I'm gonna hold it hold it on that angle and come out and it's gonna peel off that excess plasticine now you're gonna go over this a couple of times to get a nice straight edge you see the excess coming up in here. All right, I'm going to do it again. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but I'm just going to put it in nice and tight this time. And as you can see, every time I'm shaving more off, but it's giving it a, it's giving it that nice straight, smooth edge that we're looking for. If you were to just push the plasticine in by hand, you'd have a really wonky edge, which would require a lot more fairing later down the track. And the less fairing we can do, the better. And that is pretty nice and straight. Still require a little bit of fairing there probably, but it's pretty close. All right, I'm gonna do a few more finishing touches on this. Then I'll start looking at getting some uh, mold release wax on it and prepping this for fiberglass. I'm just applying some mold release wax. I'm leaving it on there. Unlike if you were to use this product in a normal mold, a gel coat mold, you would actually polish it off. Where in this case, I'm actually gonna leave a light film on there so it doesn't stick to the malamine. So it's the next day and uh, it's cured off in the mold there. I'm going to leave it in the mold for a little bit longer. The layup I did on this one was three layers around that lip area, the inside lip on the top of the breaker. Uh, so it was 450 chop, 600 double bias and 450 chop. And again, another three layers on the flat surfaces there. Now we are going to have windows in it and there's probably a little bit of wastage there but I'll cut those in and make a little recess lip for those. It's out of the mold and on the boat. I have got a few clamps and things in there which is holding it up at the minute because I have been glassing the uh, join where I cut the top deck off as well. So, and obviously it needs a good trim in that. And also it's gonna need a lot more glass to strengthen it up. But as you can see, you get a good look at the profile there. And it, it's really pliable, as I mentioned. So like it's, it's, you can really gonna be able to shape it to the side of the hole. So it's gonna be perfect to uh, glass it into the edge of the hole there, or the edge of the top deck, I should say. And it's gonna be really easy to work with. And then we'll just strengthen as required, cut the windows in, make a little recess lip for those to sit on and glue to. But uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how that come out, really. 
Well guys, I know it's been a while since I've had any videos out, but thanks for sticking with me on this one. It's been uh, in the making over a couple of months. I've been away at work for a month and I've done a lot of work on the boat as well, as you guys know. But uh, that's basically how we uh, make the wave breaker uh, out of a Malamine mold. And now it'll be a matter of uh, the finishing touches, fairing and, and strengthening and windows. I might put those in the next video I put up. We'll see how we're going for time and what we're up to then, but I've got a few other things on the go as well, as well as this wave breaker. So there's plenty of, uh, plenty of work to be done on this boat still to get it into a state where it's ready for paint. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.